Hello everyone, today I will be doing an Alcridge unboxing. You've seen them several times on my channel, I love this box. They are a YA monthly book box, with each month being a different theme. This month's theme is darkness and all things darkness, so I'm excited to um, check it out. If you're interested in Alcridge, I will leave all of their links down below, and if you're interested in signing up for them, please use the code BOOKABLES for 15% off of your first box, because saving money is literally the best, it's one of the best things in the world, saving money. I love it just as much as you do. So like I said, I'll leave all the links down below. I love this company so very much. I love every single one of their boxes. So without further ado, let's just jump right on. The first thing as always is their card. It's designed each month. This one is very, it looks very darkish. You've got like the owl over here. It's very beautiful, like looking like a painting or no, not like a painting, like almost a sketch almost, which is beautiful. And in the back, it'll just say your spoiler warnings. I love all of the people who design this are just amazing. Oh, is this huge thing? This looks like a galaxy. This is a fortune telling bomb, a mystic fairy bath fizzer with a yes or no answer inside. That's freaking cool. You know what, first glance, this, this looks like a rubber ball that you could bounce. It's from Da Bomb Bath Fizzers, Sister Preneurs, like entrepreneurs, but sister. Sister Sisterpreneurs, handmade in the USA. Oh, this is from like the Raven. Oh, this is this is like a tribute kind of to the Raven Cycle, which is one of my favorite series of all time. And it says we couldn't help but think of the psychic, the psychics from 300 Fox Way, the Raven Cycle series, which I do know the owner of Alcarina, Karina, loves the Raven Cycle probably even more than I do. So I think it's awesome she included this in here. When we came across this beautiful fortune telling bath, there's asked a question that's been on your mind. Toss the bomb in your bath water and wait for the answer to appear. I might have to do this. You know, I don't take a lot of baths because I don't have a really good like bath to take them in, but I think I might just have to do it, you know, just once to answer my question, just to have a bath bomb. I've never even used a bath bomb. I know you're probably all like, Lush, what, what's wrong with you? No, I have it. I just don't have a good enough bath to like clarify for me taking a bath. The next thing I see, ooh, is a candle. And this is Selena's cake, which I'm guessing is like from, this from the Throne, Throne of Glass. Let's smell it. This is from the Melting Library. Rattle the Stars, which is one of the things that says in, oh my gosh, this smells beautiful. I love sweet smelling candles. Mmm, this smells like cake. Let's come along and celebrate everybody's, fa everybody's favorite assassin. I know she is mine, and her love of cake. Selena does love her cake. With this deliciously dark candle inspired by the Throne of Glass series, this candle was created exclusively for the Alcrate by the Melting Library. This caramel? I don't know. I'm like the worst at detecting things, but this is this is awesome. I love like it's pretty generous size too. So that is awesome. I love everything about this and how it's Selena's cake. So whenever I'll burn it, I'll think of Selena. The next thing I see is a pin, and this one, oh, it's just like the cover of their card. So you get this little cover. It's like a close-up of this, which I think I'll create, yeah, they're doing one of these for each box, because on it, it says I'll create box number 19, darkness. So you can start collecting them, which I think is an awesome way to do it, because this is a really cool pin. Like, I love how that coincides with each other. Oh my goodness. The next thing I see is this tote bag. And it says, it's from Miss Peregrine's Home for Rekito Children. Let's open it up. This is from Out of Print. I have um, had things from Out of Print before, and they make amazing, well-quality things. So it says on this Miss Peregrine's Home for Rekito Children, and has that on it. And then on this side, it says, um, strange I saw how you could be living in your dreams and your nightmares all at the very same time. That's obviously from Ranthem Riggs. It's from Hollow City. This is beautiful. Well made. I love, like... How each of their tags will have like one of these like almost like kind of library themed thing and then she has this this is this is a very beautiful Oregon homes and it's even like a discount code you can get a discount code five dollars off your next purchase which is pretty freaking good I love out of print they make beautiful well quality items I have one of their bigger tote kind of things like zip up things it's a library thing I love that thing very beautiful very well made I really like it this you can use this for pencils you can use it for makeup you can use these things for a multitude of things honestly this will probably live in my bag and like have all of my son's things and I don't know we'll see but I will definitely use it. Ooh, is this is this a passport to a new world. Your early access an excerpt from Moon Chosen by PC Cast. So this is like a little sampler I think of a new book coming out by PC Cast. Of the the beautiful like interesting this is this is 
really beautiful. Like you can have a, some coloring pages in it and another coloring pages and it'll have a little like sampler. So in case you're interested in the novel, you can figure out, which I've never heard of this. So that's, that's awesome. Ooh, the next thing is a bookmark. And I already know what this is from, even though I have not read the series. This is No Mourners, No Funerals. This is from Six of the Crows. I know that's a very well-loved quote, which I still need to read. I'm so horrible. That says, what everyone knows you're a monster. You, ne you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. This is a very, very beautiful, well, like, designed bookmark. It's very intricate, like, all the swirls and everything. This is by Evie Bookish. She's done a lot of amazing things. She's a very awesome designer. I love all of her work. This is very, very beautiful. I would definitely be using these. These are, this is designed just for this Alcrate box. Like, this is just a thing of beauty. Ooh, the next thing is a, another, like, little book or something. This is a little, I don't know if this is a sampler or what. This is, oh, this is an episode. So this is episode, what are you, episode one? I don't know. Are you episode one? Yes, this is episode one. So like these little samplers, so there's 15 of these little things. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to definitely check that out. I never have heard about this, but that's awesome they included that in there. It's awesome. I like it. I believe that's it. Yes! I did not know this book was gonna be in here, and I'm so glad it's in here because I was actually gonna freaking order this thing. This is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. This was actually in my most um, anticipated fall releases. It sounded really awesome and very spooky. This fits perfectly with the darkness theme. This is all about like three sisters, three um, tri they're triplets obviously, and um, they each have different magical powers, and they each have been separate each other for a long time and then I think they reach to a certain age and they have to fight like to the death almost or something with their powers and whoever wins will become queen of their land. If it sounds awesome, it does, right? So here's the cover, which is just beautiful. It's very beautiful, very matte, it's got that on it. But then you know, let's make sure I knew I was right. Yeah, three, okay. In every generation on the island of Fenbear, a set of trips is born, three queens all equal heirs to the crown and each possessor of a coveted wooded magic. Coming the queen crowned isn't solely a matter of royal birth, each sister has to fight for it. It's not just a game of win or lose, it's life or death. The night the, the night the sisters turn 16, the battle begins. The last queen standing gets the crown. <sighs> I will say I have heard not so great things about this on Goodreads of her pacing problems, but which other things, but I still really want to check it out because the premise just sounds amazing. You also get a signed book plate. I love signed book plates. So get a little note that she has written and a little map of the back, I'm guessing, of the map of the map of Fenburn, which is pretty awesome. I love how this is like hand drawn and everything. You also get this thing. I don't know what this is. This is like a fortune telling you. I would do this on camera, but if I'm honest with you, my son's gonna wake up any second here, so I'm running out of time. But I think it's really awesome. I will do this and put it on Instagram. Fortune. It's just like a little fortune teller thing, if you can see. So that's pretty awesome. So overall, again, amazing box. And you also get the very end, it will tell you the theme of the October box. In the October box, you receive an awesome item from Who's It's and What's It's. The theme of the October box is Once Upon a Dream. Ooh, pretty. I love it. It's like, it might be inspired from like Alice in Wonderland almost. I don't know, but it's beautiful. You're getting a lot of different things. You're getting a full bath bomb. Like this shank, you can probably cut this in half and say this for two baths because this is huge. This is pretty freaking cool. You're getting a candle, which is a pretty good size, you know? I burn a lot of candles, so it'll go fast, but it's still a pretty good size. Getting this beautiful, like, um, I keep wanting to call it a tote, I don't know, a zip bag, whatever you want to call it. It's very beautiful, very well made. You're getting this exclusively designed bookmark. You're getting a little sampler of, um, what are you buying? Moon Chosen by PC Cast. You're also getting like a little sampler book, almost like episode one of this 15 part episode series, which is pretty cool. You're also getting that pin. I dropped it, so I apologize. And you're also getting the book. So you're getting like one, two, three, four, five, like five things, five amazing things. Overall, I love this box. Alcourt never disappoints me. There has not been a box that I've gotten where I'm like, Ooh, these boxes are okay. They just, I love the theme that they put into it and all the hard work they do to combine. Like all of the items in this box are just darkness. You have Miss Peregrine's Home, you have Six of Crows, you have um, Raven Cycle, you have um, Throne of Glass. All those are very dark kind of books. So they fit in so perfectly well with the theme of the box. They curate it just phenomenally. I say that every time, but I truly mean it every time. So if you're interested in Alcrate, don't hesitate. Use my code and get 15% off because 
they are just an awesome company. I can't sing their praises enough. But I am super excited about this book. I'll probably read it in October for Halloween. So it's like got a darkness theme. But yeah, I'm excited. If you so. have gotten this box, tell me. Did you like everything? What was your favorite thing? I don't know. I love this little pouch. Pouch. That's the right word. And the candle is beautiful. I think I would love the bath bomb more if I had a great bath. But that's not Al Crate's fault. That's my own house's fault, you know? <laughs> but anyway, that was the um, September box. And um, like I said, use my code. Definitely check out Alcrate. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, I can't wait for mid-December. Cause I got flowers.